someday somewhere It's gonna be hot day somewhere Might be in yesterday Could be today Yes, it's finally hump day. Thank the lords that surround us with love. Here's to them. Cheers. Ah, I hope you've all been well, everyone. Well, I'm officially moved in to residence in Briz Vegas. Oh, well. So, Briz Vegas, eat your heart out. Old Grego's back. Bigger and better than ever. And when I say bigger, I tell you what, I'm, I weigh an absolute ton. So, uh, <laughs> I, I just came back from a walk with Rollo. I had to. Uh, I've been selling stuff on Gumtree and um, for Marketplace. So I've had a few people coming around today and um, picking stuff up, doing some negotiations. And I've been getting top dollar, mate, top dollar. Well, trying to. Who we got in the room? Oh, Smitty. Oh, fish cakes. Woof. Fish cakes. Ah, hey, username. Hi, Gregory. Thank you very much, username, for your prompt super chat there. You just bought me this beer. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's that pretty much pay for this beer. So thank you very much. I drink for free. I had to get a new carton today. Um, I've gone back with the steam and blonde. Now they are low carb because you know old Chubby here needs to lose some weight. And um, let me just hear this. Low carb because you know old Chubby here needs to lose some weight. Uh, the echo is not too bad. Um. And the pure blondes are like 50 bucks a car, and then these are like 40. So I was like, and I had the other, is it pure blonde or something? I had the pure blonde, and then I had one of these straight afterwards. I couldn't tell the difference. So I'm like, mate, save 10 bucks. Cheers. I can save 10 bucks. I can save 10 bucks. Not that I need to. Woohoo! Yeah! I've been selling stuff. Yes, I could have bought a carton of pure blondes. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, well, better 50 bucks in my pocket than the BWS. Ah, yes. $50. What can I do for 50 bucks? Hmm. I could wait till next Tuesday and get 45 pieces of KFC. Oh, yeah. That'd be pretty pointless drinking the old car beers then, wouldn't it? Who else is here? Conker? Right. Robo? Right. Stalsy? Of course, Stalsy is here, mate. He's probably been assessing the hail damage that he had at his place the other day. Watching me from the gold, he felt like it was on holiday. Yes, well, there's no, uh, there's no more holidays anymore, mate. It's all work, 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 work. Well, if you if you count uh, doing laundry work, well, it is, isn't it? It's uh, it's a pain in the neck, isn't it? Doing although laundry is one of the easiest jobs that you can do. That's what I reckon, anyway. Well, I've still got uh, some paintings to put up. You might remember that from my uh, place on the Goldie. So I need to stick that up somewhere. That's what she said. Oh, excuse me. 
And uh, well, my place is an absolute mess. I I got a um, a box here uh, the other day to do a a delivery uh, to do a a review on uh, this Darlington Farms. I tell you what, mate. This Darlington Farms sources, their sources, mate. They are so good. So, they, I said, oh, yeah, send me some, I'll do a review. That's if they last. But they sent me this, came with a shirt, too. Have a look at this one. Hot, but not bothered. Long sleeve, black shirt. Just in time for a uh, Brisbane summer. <laughs> Jesus, mate. What are they thinking? But hey, you never know. I might go fishing it. Just down the Brisbane River. Oh, thanks very much to... Mirrored Guitarist. Oh, Mirrored Guitarist, I remember you. You sent me a super chat um, last time, I think. Thank you very much. Is that a lefty guitar I see in the background? Drinks on me from a fellow lefty. Uh, yeah, so I've got several guitars. I got, uh, oh, that one. That's my uh, Fender. Yeah, that's a Fender guitar, that one. That's a lefty. And then I got my favorite guitar here, the Washburn. That one's nice. That's also, it's also a lefty. Yes, yeah, very nice. And then, well, I'll show you these two. Then over here, I've got uh, under this uh, quite amazing looking apron. I got one of those. This just to keep the dust. And then I've got a, a bass guitar here. Another Fender jazz bass. And some amps, of course. I need, You need some amps. So I've got, uh, I've got a bit of a collection of guitars happening here, but, well, now that I've moved in, I might have a chance to... Oh, God, have a look at these. Oh, wee! Gosh dang diddly. Hey, eyes up here, fellas. Hey! What's that up here? That's better. <laughs> it's keeping my the dust off my guitars, stopping Rollo from licking the uh, whatever he licks, which is pretty much anything. He's he's found this pile of dog poo that he every time we walk past, he goes and snatches some. It's like, hey, stop eating that shit. Literally. Um, now, Michelle, how's the framing of this? Do you prefer this framing over here? Do you? But uh, I've got some sun. Oh, what the forks and knives? You might remember Michelle from such times as <sighs> drunk on the drunken burgoon nights and stuff. Anyway, her and uh, Mark, it's Mark, how's it going down there? How's those new neighbours of yours? Are they keeping good? They're not being pains in the ARSS. Oh, Foxy, yeah, Foxy, by the way, I just edited our video that we made um, about six months ago. <laughs> it's uploaded and ready to go. When? Oh, no. Nah. I could put it up right now if I was uh, even half decent uh, person. But I haven't been making too many videos lately. I've just been trying to sell stuff on um, on Gumtree. So, but thanks, mirrored guitarist. Oh, mirrored guitarist. That's why you're a lefty. Yes, I hope you like my guitars. Um, collection there 
mirror guitarist. And thanks for your super chat. And oh, a mirror guitarist again. I have the exact same washburn in a lefty as well. No way. Really? We must be some sort of something. Mate, this, this washburn sounds so nice. Now, it's acoustic electric. Um, it doesn't actually work anymore, that part. Uh, I'm going to have to pull out my toolkit and there might be a rusted wire there or something. It's sounding a bit funny, actually. I haven't tuned it for a while. Could do with some more strings. But uh, yeah, thanks, Mary Guitarist. I've got a, a cheap. Um, whatever. Oh, fucking hell. Lily put my back out picking it up. An Agile. I don't even know. I think these cost about $100 brand new, and I paid uh, 200 bucks for it. Idiot I am. By some, from some guy who's in a band. He goes, yeah, man, I'm in a rock and roll band. And I went down to, to test it out and he had like 60 guitars lined up. I'm like, ooh, ooh you are in a band. And, um, but he said he didn't like it. And yeah, I understand why. <laughs> that sounds all right. Sounds good for what I want it for, which is uh, pissing the neighbors off. Yeah, rock and roll, man. But thanks, mirrored guitarist. You're fast becoming a uh, legend on this channel. Oh, cavey. Dead possums, what? New strings. You're a lefty, but whenever you played guitar, you did it right-handed. Well, I wish I'd done it right-handed. It'd make life a whole lot easier, that's for sure. Then you can go around somebody's house and just pick up their guitar and start, like, pulling on the strings and start playing with your knob on the guitar. Holiday tomorrow, here in Locktown, capital of the world. Isn't that funny how there's everyone, no one can do anything, but there's still holidays. My next food review, tomorrow. It's a hack. I was making it, uh, I made it, is it yesterday I made it? I think it was yesterday. It could have been the day before. Actually, I should have made it on Tuesday. Then I could have got two for the price of one. God, I'm stupid. Uh, anyway, I was sitting there just finishing up and these people walked up uh, to the car next to me and and um, I, I'd i finished the video. My mouth was full of pizza and I had crumbs all over my shirt. So I opened the door to get the crumbs off and the, the guy's on the phone He's like, and he's like, Greg, ah, and he's with his missus with the, these ones. And um, he goes, oh, I'm just on the phone to my brother. I was, I was just chatting to him because I recognized you when we, we walked up and I was, and I, and I, and I, and we're big fans and we love watching you. So g'day uh, to them. I don't know if they watch this channel, probably not. But um, yes. Um, if you see my review tomorrow, it's the blue car next to me. I forget what little uh, Mitsubishi or something. So cheers to them. All right. Da, 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 da. Oopsie daisy. Good on you, outlaw. Ah, 
you subscribe to me. Oh, that's good. You can, you're more than welcome to unsubscribe to. I, I don't, this channel hasn't grown in about five years uh, because uh, most people just unsubscribe. They stick, they put up with me for about five minutes and they go, uh, There's this brick, unsubscribe. So, but the, the ones that still are here subscribed are absolute legends, so good for you. God, that box looks terrible up there, but I have to put it up somewhere because if I put it on the ground, Rollo will start pulling it apart and eating everything. Oh, quiet! Well, no, I've got this mirror that I'm in this uh, ruler here for. I can't imagine what I was measuring. <laughs> Where's the mark up to? Oh, it hasn't got inches. It's only just centimetres. Oh, there's a there's a little mark there. Eight, eight and a bit centimetres. That's all right. That'll at least create some sort of something. Right. Where's Smitty? He's right there. He's still working, mate. He's working for the man. Slaving away. Does he ever stop? No. I came in here. I couldn't sleep the other night. I came in at 4am and he's still there working. No, he never stops that guy. You used to get hit with that in your old days. What a metal one. Did they have metal ones back then? Oh, jeez, that would hurt. It hurts trying to measure too, just quietly. Don't want to get that pointy bit down in the wrong section. Oh, oh. tell you what. Oh, jeez, it's crikey O'Malley. How good was the vegan burger, really? Listen, it was wonderful. I don't care what everyone else said. Look, the rubbish bin really liked um, some of it too. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking, Joel and Chaska. They're probably watching. Joel's probably sitting there. Oh, I thought I'd put this on my phone. Oh, crikey. Don't want to damage it. Hang on. This goes, uh, this is a thing that just goes on it. So I don't like damage it when I stick it in the phone holder. Right. Well, what happened? Oh, that's better. Oh. Anyway. Uh, what was I doing? Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, da 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 da. -da. Is McDonald's better in Brisbane or than the Gold? Well, that McDonald's I used to go to was the best McDonald's I've ever been to. Uh, the one I go to close to here, well, they left the bacon off my fucking burger, didn't they? And I paid top dollar for it, sort of. Ah. <sighs> Now, uh, you love all my channels. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, what's this? Mexican Posadas. Oh, no, it went away. Hang on. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm way behind here. Ah. Ah, Shannon Williams. Thank you, Shannon Williams. 50 Mexican pesos. Whoo wee. What are that's worth? Somebody let me know down below. Uh, but thank you very much, uh, Shannon Williams, over there in, in Mexico. Uh, me gusta vivir. Uh, me gusta uh, boy allí una día en vacaciones. Pero no, no creo que yo uh, will ever boy allí. Now, Stalsy. Thanks, Stalsy. Where's the book? Yeah. I think it's 
downstairs in a box. I'll have to go and check later. Uh, but thanks, Stasi. I'll go and check where that book is. Don't worry. Uh, Conker, thanks very much for your super chat there. The Smitty Gang. Yes. The Smitty Gang's here. Uh, I've got Smitty. I've got Salty. Uh, I'm not too sure where Chippy is. I think he might still be in a box somewhere. And um, who else was there? Oh! Oh, uh, and uh, bl uh, bloody old mate. He's down. He's still shoved in a box too downstairs. I keep. Um, I'm still unpacking. It's, it's when you move house, mate. It takes a while, especially when you're a full-time uh, house husband who also works full-time. God, those birds are noisy. Uh, working full-time, mate. Working. You know, me working. But thank you very much, Conker, Stalsy, and Shannon. As well as a mirrored guitarist, of course. Thank you very much, and username. Um, oh, Kane Higgins. Oh, thank you very much, Kane Higgins. I mean, you snuck that one in without me seeing. How's it going? Well, it's going all right, except this beer is warming up. I better slam it. Cheers, Kane Higgins. Ugh. So, weather update. Ugh. Here's the temperature right here. It's uh, 26 degrees in my room at the moment. As you can see, the sun is uh, shining through. It's facing west. Not the best. Not the best uh, way to face a house. In it's best to have your the long part of your house facing north, and then the short parts of the house facing east and west. And that'll keep it warm in winter and cool in summer. Have I seen Brian lately? No, I haven't. Yeah, he sent me a message though. He was saying, you know, me, he, he, might, he probably wants to catch up on uh, Saturday morning. I said, what, what do you mean Saturday morning? You, what, what is Saturday morning? I said, when's that? I know Saturday afternoon because that's when I wake up. <laughs> Sad. Uh. Yes, Victoria is now uh, more like a fascist police state. $3.43. Crikey! 50 Mexican pesos. Uh, Storm versus the Panthers. Oh, God, I suppose a Storm will win. Don't even know why they have the Storm in the NRL finals. I mean, they should have been locked up in Victoria with everyone else. <laughs> Would I rather eat a hamburger or a chicken and chips? <laughs> well, that depends what the burger was and uh, which chicken it was. I am a hamburger man. Chicken's the poor man's meat, really, isn't it? I'd rather have a nice steak. Actually, I was meant. I was talking with uh, Melissa, and I cannot cook a steak to save my life. And we came to the agreement that uh, there's no point in buying steaks anymore. Um, you may as well just eat them out, and have someone else that knows what they're doing cook it for you. So I think that's what we're going to do. And, and next, uh, next week's my birthday, and uh, Melissa's like, where do you want to go? And she's rattling off all these fancy like places to eat. And I say, I don't want to go to a fancy place. 
Take me to the Breakfast Creek Hotel for a steak. Yes! So that's what we're doing. Unless there's another place um, that does really good steaks. I know there's some place that do $170 steaks. And I said, well, maybe we can share that. Uh, if you're paying. But I thought, no, nah, that's way too much, mate. 30 bucks for a steak and chips. That's all I need. But thanks, Kane Higgins. Luke Smith. Thanks, Luke Smith. Towards my stomach, having to put up with that vegan burger. She was, lo she was lovely who cooked it, though. Yes, that's Chaska. That's Melissa's daughter. So my sort of daughter... In law, I guess. She's very lovely. And uh, she's, even if she is vegan, uh, she has cooked, we've been around their place and cooked um, food. <laughs> and all that we're eating there, she's cooked vegan before and it's always been really nice. Except for her tiramisu. She can't make a tiramisu to save her life. But anyway, that's another story. Yes, you can, Chaska. Just add sugar next time. That's if you're watching. Yeah, sort of like a stepdaughter. Yes. But thanks very much, Luke Smith. Do a live with Brian on Saturday morning. Well, he'll have to be driving and he'll be with his son, so probably not. Five guys. Do we even have five guys here? There was an earthquake in Melbourne yesterday. Yeah, I saw that. Too bad there's no tradies to fix it. <laughs> Sucked in, Dan, you dumbass. God, he's the dumbest man in the world. Well, he is a, um, a politician, though, and we know it. That's stupid. There. Yeah. Uh... The earthquake quake was frightening. Yeah, I've been in tremors before when I was in Bali, but not in a, um, like, just lying in bed and the bed starts doing these ones. Um, and it's, then you're looking around going, was that an earthquake? But, uh, you know, I haven't been in, like, a, a major earthquake. Why is my fly always undone? The storm of massive cheaters. Yeah, well, it, that doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, so who's playing the Panthers? Well, I'll be cheering for the Panthers, that's for sure. Where are they playing it by? Actually, isn't that, aren't they playing in Brisbane? I'm still waiting for some one of you guys who has a box there at Suncorp Stadium to invite me. What's wrong with you? Taking your time. God, I'm still free though. <sighs> Who will win All Backs or Springboks? Does anyone even watch uh, Rugby Union? Don't you need to sell a kidney to eat at the Brecky Creek Hotel? I don't know. I'm not paying. <laughs> I didn't think so. Go to the Norman. Oh, which one's the Norman? Norman. Let's see. Well, isn't that the Norman? Isn't that... Oh, Wall and Gabba. Yeah, mate, that's... Well, I'll tell you what, that's much closer. It's only got a 4.2 Google star rating, but it's had a 1,900 reviews, so that's all right. Let's take a look at their stakes. It might be much easier just to get to, because we're going to catch Ubers. and Well, we're going to get an Uber. We are open. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, fuck off. Just let me look. Salads? No. The grill. Okay. 
Well, they're all like 50 bucks for the stakes there, so... No. I'll go to the Norman another time. It's just down the road. Breakfast Creek's overpriced. Well, what's a brekkie Breakfast Creek? Breakfast Creek Hotel. Let's have a look. Menu. Beer Garden. I wouldn't be going to the Spanish Garden. I'm not a... One of those. Let's see. Ooh, lucky I had a spare beer here. Cheers. Mains. Uh, steak. Mate, it's the same as the Norman, if not cheaper. It's cheaper than the Norman. What are you talking about? Crikey! Apparently the wall that fell in Chapel Street was already unstable. Lucky it didn't fall on someone. Oh, Conquer, thank you very much, Conquer, 3425. Hope you have a fabulous birthday next week. Here's some money towards your lunch. Enjoy, mate. Ah, thanks, Conquer. Thank you very much. Remember, it was, I remember a year ago, uh, it was my birthday, <laughs> funnily enough. And um, that was during like a major sort of uh, lockdown sort of time. And... Um, yeah, we had a great night that night. I don't really remember it too much, but I'll tell you what, we got smashed, probably. It's what I'm known for. And it's what I'm best at. So thank you very much, Conker. 34.25. It's next Friday, so. Uh, thank you very much, Conker. You got paid work, trial, as a kitchen porter at the farmhouse at Kedron. Kedron, roll where the good times bowl. That's a long way from your place, mate. Kedron? Aren't you at, like, Annerley? God, I wouldn't want to be working around Kedron. God, trying to get there would be a nightmare. I'd, uh, I'd take the paid trial and then I'd hike that job. Unless you need it, of course, then, then uh, yes, most definitely try and keep it. But, yeah, I mean, that's a hell of a drive. Unless you really like driving. Then good for you, Luke. You prefer a feed of Carl's Jr.? Yes, yes. Well... The, the Brecky Creek has got me beers on tap and, well, because it's my birthday, it's going to be uh, lots of beers, lots of steaks, and uh, hopefully there's some, some sort of footy on the TV and you know, we'll see, wait and see. We're going to go at lunchtime too, so it's going to be like a luncheon sort of thing. None of this dinner crap. I said, let's go at lunchtime so we can just stay there all day and get smashed. So if you're around the Brecky Creek next Friday, stick your head in. I might be there. You love the sound of a lighter sparking up a spliff. What have I got a lighter here for? What's that big, long, brown, white thing that's rolled up? Who knows? Um, 
Username. Oh, username. Crikey, are you sure you 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 put type the right amount in there? Normally it's two bucks. Gee, five bucks, dude. Settle down, sunshine. All these McDonald's customers saying Brecky Creek is overpriced. <laughs> well, coming from the Gold Coast up to here, Brisbane is just overpriced. The Gold Coast is much cheaper than the than um, the supermarket prices are cheaper, housing prices are cheaper, rents cheaper, rates are cheaper, uh, food is cheaper, everything's cheaper on the Gold Coast. Uh, the place I used to go, it was a steak and salad and chips for uh, 26 bucks. So up here, it's like $38. So yeah, it's premium, paying premium prices in Brisbane. It's an extra $12 for the same thing. Brisbane. God, no wonder I love the Gold Coast. Thanks, username. Uh, Shannon Williams again. Si, senorita. Oh, senor. No lo sé. Shannon. Uh, se nombre can be dos, both. Did you get paid for reviews? We all know you do, but why do you upsell the ones who pay you? It's all about the pesos. You end up looking desperate. I've never, ever been paid for a review. Ever. So I don't know where you get that idea that uh, I I upsell or get paid for them. Uh, but uh, thanks very much, Shannon. Uh, you're wrong. But yes, I've never actually. I, no, I, when I first started this channel, uh, Campbell's. I did some things for Campbell's, and they paid me some pretty good coin to make three videos just and all I had to do was put their product uh, on in 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 a video and that's all I had to do and they paid me like like 1500 bucks or something to make three videos <laughs> I was like whoa I can, do you want me to make a thousand videos but that was like 10 years ago but I've never ever been paid for any, uh, any, any review I've ever done. Never been paid. I might have got a free one now and then. Um, Paul Styles, thanks very much, Paul. Do you uh, do you plan on doing more videos with Chaska? She's a great addition to the Greg's Kitchen channel. <laughs> Did you see the thumbs down on that video? 90. I'm like, good. I'm glad I annoyed 90 people. I wish I'd annoyed a thousand. Uh, but yeah, uh, there is some parts of that video I took out. Uh, she wants to make a, um, a vegan fish recipe. Um, and, but I think they use seaweed or kelp or something. Anyway, she wants to do a video with that. But, well, if she's ever up here, she's living in my place now. So maybe I can go down there. I've got some uh, some stuff at the post office I need to pick up. So maybe I can whip back home and she can show me how to cook kelp or whatever. I don't know. And do another recipe. Um, but thanks, Stalsy. Uh, you probably will see her in another video. So get the lube ready. Where are all the ladies tonight? Yeah. Well, I saw, um, oh, Fish Cakes was here. Um, I don't know. It's, it's school holidays, I think, so... Uh, maybe they're doing other stuff. Uh, 
Your friend calls Brisbane boring. Yeah, it is. What's there to do in Brisbane? It's not the Goldie. Like, I can't just walk down to the beach. But, uh, Brisbane's hot. It's uh, pretty boring. And uh, why do I leave the Gold Coast? Oh, God! Takes forever to get anywhere. No, so the Goldie was a beautiful place. And eventually, uh, we will be heading back there at some stage. Or the Sunshine Coast. One of the coasts, at least. Just at least one. Maybe both. Might have a house in both. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you liked Brisbane when it was corrupt. Well, it probably still is. Get on the punt. Actually, I was watching... Uh, what was I watching last night? I was watching something, and it was... Uh, uh, porn stars, that's right. I mean, like, we watched... What did we watch? I was sitting down with Melissa, and we're eating dinner, and I put uh, American Pickers on. And then after that was Porn Stars. Anyway, I'm trying to get her into my sort of TV viewing stuff while we're having dinners. But all the ads were like sports bet, uh, Ned's sports bet, uh, TAB betting. It was all betting ads. And I was like, oh, maybe I should start betting on like the footy and the whatever else. Because I'm not a, I'm not a gambler really. Uh, maybe once a year I might put a five dollars on something, but otherwise I'm not a gambler. And thank goodness. Uh, it's called Bruce Vegas because of them building that new casino. Well, I think I or it could have been because we were one of the first places to get all the uh, poker machines. Move to Ipswich. Oh, geez, I'll tell you what. Does anyone ever move to Ipswich? <laughs> I couldn't imagine. Alberto Waldo, thanks very much for your super chat. G'day, Grego. Did you like my comment the other day? Jeez, man, I can't remember. I'd have to go and search for it. But I'll say yes, it was Awesome. Don't know what it was, but it was awesome. But thanks for your uh, super chat there, Alberto. Chumley's a legend. I can't believe, like, one of the biggest doofuses, like, that's ever lived can be a TV star like Chumley and make, like, lots of money. Just sucks, doesn't it? I got my hair under control today. Well, I've uh, I, I just went for a walk and uh, had a hat on, and it was a bit all over the shop. But uh, yes, a bit of water and some semen can really do wonders. It switch is Brisbane, pretty close. Well, if you count Ipswich, Brisbane, and the Gold Coast, which are pretty just close together, you're looking at like four million people. AFL. Uh, yes, well, I'm sort of just waiting for an invite uh, to the AFL Grand Final. Isn't it in uh, Western Australia? That should be good. Actually, we were discussing, I was discussing with Melissa what we were going to do for grand final day. She said, let's go to my parents' place. I said, well, have fun. I can always go down the local uh, AFL um, place uh, <laughs> for, to go and watch it. You gave up drinking, eight days sober. Well done. 
I'd give it up too. But um, that's pretty good. I mean, if you can survive eight days without drinking, that's really good. Because normally it's like three days. After three days, uh, if you don't drink something, uh, you die. I think it's three days for liquid, and three weeks for food, and something like that. Well, I, I gave up drinking for a month once. And then I started back drinking again, just because I, I just wanted to try and do a month. And after that month, uh, I realized that it made no difference uh, if I'd been drinking or not drinking. Now, even my bank account didn't seem to go up anymore. So I was like, yeah, might as well just drink. Oh, fish cakes are still here, thank goodness. Eight years sober. <whistles> three minutes of oxygen. Maybe, yes, three minutes of oxygen. Although, if you can hold your breath, some people can hold their breath for like 10 minutes. Now, three days of drinking, uh, like liquids. If you don't drink for three days, you die. And um, it, it must be longer than three weeks for food, surely. Uh, you had a kebab for dinner. Gee, that sounds nice. Oh, I wish I had a kebab. An itchy something right here for some reason. It's getting itchy. What's down there, by the way? Just the best six pack you've ever seen in your life. Anyone's birthday coming up? Me, mine is. It's gonna be my birthday, birthday. I'm gonna be something, 50 something. Fish cakes is Carol Driver, yes, that's right. Remember us? We said, oh, you should change your name to Fish Cakes. <laughs> What's for dinner? Uh, I, I went and got some, uh, I've got uh, Melissa's son coming over for dinner tonight. Uh, so he always, whenever he comes over, we always have uh, barramundi and um, waffle fries. So barramundi and waffle fries. Shannon Williams, muchas gracias, senor, or oh, senora, no lo sé. I'm saying senora, senor, senorita. Eating free is a paid for. You are dishonest. You drum up views when you, when you pay and then beg for free. Don't lie about your business model. Well, I'm not eating that's not i'm not getting paid how is that how is that being paid don't lie about my i never i don't have a business model all i do is make stupid videos sometimes people give me some food to try so if i'm if i do a review on these uh, sauces am i getting paid for it no if, I, if I'm doing a review on something, I'm not getting paid for it, then I'm always very honest. And sometimes I'm too honest. Like even when I'm doing those McDonald's reviews and I'm saying, yeah, it's really good. I don't get paid. I have never gotten money except for the, those ones that I told you. Uh, into any account or into any hand or I've never received payment for anything. Ever. Except for those videos I told you about. <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about. I've never been paid for a 
So I got a, I've got a free fish and chips every now and then when I've walked in with my camera and they said, ah, oh, just take it. Uh, so that was always good. Uh, but otherwise, never, ever received money for any video, except for those ones I told you about. And that was back in 2010. So I've never received a cent for any video for the last, what, 11 years or something? So I don't know how I've been paid for something. Um, what's Natasha? Oh, hey, Natasha. Oh, how's those elections in Canada? Oh, God. Canada is off, off, off my list of places to go now that, now that uh, they've got the uh, Dominion voting machines there. Oh, God. Yeah. <sighs> Hey, Natasha. I look good for 50-something. Well, I've been on my carnitine, and hopefully that helps you. Well, I'm sort of hoping it gives you this boost of energy, carnitine. Hopefully it makes you younger, too. Um, yeah, so it seems to be doing all right, actually, the old carnitine. It's rainy where? I'm part of the deep state. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> mate, if if there were, if I got paid to do a video. I, by law, I have to put a little thing in the thing saying that it's been, it's got to have spot, this video is sponsored or something. But uh, no, food, food reviews are not sponsored. Yeah, so I, I mean, I don't have to justify it, but um, I'm just telling you, I've never received payment for any video, except for the ones I talked about. YouTubers just banned hunting stream. No killing animals anymore. Well, I mean, no. I was, I used to watch um, Meat Eater. What about fishing videos? I mean, if you catch a fish, how's that, uh, how does that, does that like do anything? I'm not too sure. How, how, hmm. If you catch a fish, as long as you probably don't show it being killed on uh, your your video, I suppose. I don't know. Well, that'd be interesting. Uh, is the beer good? Oh, I don't know. Am I allowed to show it or is that being sponsored? What, am I paid to do that if I show you? Yeah. If somebody, one of you guys buys me a beer and then I, I do a review, is that, is that, am I being paid to do that beer review? I don't know. Oh, who knows? Uh... Can you pay me to review some Campbell's soup? Well, no, those, uh, they were good. It was just, Campbell's gave me some money and then they sent me the products in a box and all I had to do was stick it like on and just show what I was using. It was awesome. But that was, uh, that was 2010-ish, I think. Oh, was it? No. When did I start the Greg's Kit? Could have been 2011. It's probably 10 years ago, 10 years ago. Uh, this beer here, am I allowed to show you? Uh, this is the Stearman's Blonde. I think it tastes exactly the same as that other blonde beer. What's it called? Pure Blonde or something? I think it tastes exactly the same. That's why I bought it. 
and it's uh, like 12 bucks cheaper. The next fish and chip video, I don't know, I haven't made one in, I haven't made one in the last few weeks. Uh, so I don't know when it's going to be. Hopefully I can find someone who'll give me a free one. Oh yeah. Your favourite soup is country chicken. Ah oh, yeah, I don't mind that one. You think you've, you have sponsored a few beers? Oh, by the way, down under, Dave, your cactus, it's gone. Uh, we gave it to uh, Melissa's son to put in his place. Uh, so, um, I don't know what's going to be happening with... Oh, I thought I had uh, Rollo coming. Um, but yeah, thanks uh, Down Under Dave. It's gone to a, a good place. Hopefully you won't chuck it out either. You might use it to throw undies on or something. But uh, yes, yeah, so hopefully a good home. I think Melissa, actually Melissa just gave it to him and said, here, take this for your place because she didn't want it here. <laughs> Cheeky. I was like, what's wrong with plastic plants? What about this one? That one's plastic, that big one there. Oh, that one's plastic. You can stream like 440p on 5G on the Goldie, really? Am I able to spread my Gregoisms around the place yet? <laughs> um, well, I mean, this is my room, sort of. Uh, I've still got a, some tidying up I need to do. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to get rid of some guitars. I've got a few too many of those. But, uh, yes, yes. Eventually I'll get it all done. It's taking time. The garage is full of, cl uh, full of still junk and stuff. Snake jaw doesn't chew. <laughs> You've been craving soup this week. My favourite soup is, am I allowed to say it or is that illegal? Uh, it's this bacon, potato and bacon. I think it's Campbell's, potato and bacon. Mmm, I really like that one. I really like it. I've got a tin downstairs. I always keep a tin in my cupboard just in case. Chew before you swallow. Oh, Mark, how are you, Mark? Mark has is in the house. Hope your new neighbours are, are being nice to you. Uh, they're vegans, by the way, so don't bother taking any fish down to them. Uh, but g'day, Mark. Um... You're probably watching me on the big screen on your telly. How's it going? You and Michelle. Do you miss me yet? Probably not. If I turned on the amp when Melissa something, no, I don't even know if my amps are plugged in. No, no, they're not even plugged in. I can sell because there's a. Uh, uh, down behind there. <laughs> there's a there's a PowerPoint down there and it's empty, so I need to go and plug those things in. How's that sunset going? We we'll have to go out for the sunset. Get Brian to cook me fish and review it. I don't know. I might get in trouble. Someone might say that I'm uh, something. I'm. Uh, I'm getting paid. If somebody cooks me something, does that mean I, that's a paid review? 
it's it's too hard to mow nowadays. Let me just shut that window because the mozzies will start coming in. I'm gonna head uh, downstairs here. Gotta watch my step. God damn, that's a that's a serious set of steps. All right, now. Stick this here, that's what she said. Ah, right. Actually, where is that? Oh, this is, this is stuff that um, I was trying to tell you all about. Um, this acetyl carnitine, am I allowed to show it or is that illegal now? Uh, it's this amino acid, uh, acetyl carnitine. I'll tell you what, it's like doing lines of stuff. Not that I'd know what that was like. But, um, yeah. No, I, I, I find it just gives you a lot of energy. And apparently it's good for losing weight too. Carnitine. Carnitine. Pharmaceutical grade. You just buy it online. That was a thirty-three dollars for two hundred and fifty grams, and you use like one gram a day. Apparently, I just use tiny bits. That would last um, months and months and months. This is what the sports, all the sportsmen use this one. Uh, it's it's a, a legal. Um, for when you're coming, when you've done your sport, apparently this amino acid is really good. So, and I've been finding it like one, once you start on it, it's like oh, suddenly you start doing things like mowing the lawn. Even though I don't have a lawn to mow, I started mowing the neighbours, and then uh, what else was I doing? Oh, all sorts of stuff, mate. All sorts of stuff. You don't want to know. But, but how, when it was moving house time, it really helped. So that was good. Boom, boom, boom. Da -da 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 -da. The new way to package nose beers. <laughs> Yes, this is uh, the kitchen where Chaska and I were. Uh, Mark would be seeing heaps of Chaska now. He's, she's living next door. That's illegal. What's illegal? Sponsored. Sponsored by Carnazine. Your new upper for the, all the downers. Uh, who's given you permission to post these songs on your YouTube? Not me. Uh, kiss you. You're just about to start taking it too. Just realise that you're two minutes behind the live stream. Just do a refresh. I'll tell you what, when you're trying to lose weight and you're, you're on these uh, low carb beers, there's nothing fun about low carb beers. Ugh. I still do the job though. Right, which one's next? Uh, I'll have one more. What time is it, by the way? I need to... 5.44. Good. Plenty of time. We're going to sit on the veranda upstairs before it gets too dark. Yep, still a bit of a sunset there.
turn some lights on. Go and suss out what's going down on the outside. I'll turn this light on. Uh, hopefully the mozzies aren't going back, eh? Got Hawk here. Hawk! Hopefully Hawk keeps the, uh, the what are they called? Yeah, all those mozzies and things away. Yeah, mozzies. No, no. Uh, what's those flying mozzies? Yeah, pigeons. Yeah. yeah so uh, hopefully Hawk's keeping all those pigeons away. I have to move him every now and then. So the pigeons think that uh, he's actually like moving around. So we get old Hawk onto the uh, onto the business. I did see a, a pigeon on the roof when I was coming back walking. I was like, yeah, oh, God. Low carb helped you lose weight? Yeah. Spirits are a healthy alternative to beer? Let's hope so, because I'm going to have one next. Yes. Uh, it's magpie swooping season now. Awesome. Cheers. <sighs> All right. What's up? See you, Mark. See you, Paul. Straight away, there's a mozzie that's just landed on my hand here. How did it get away? It was just like this, and it's got away. Bloody hell. Incredible. Bloody mozzies, mate. Uh, da, da, da. Low carb bourbon. <laughs> You saw a food delivery person on a bike and their helmet was sticking out the top. Oh yeah, they put the uh, cable ties. Yeah, stop their birds. <laughs> well, luckily for my walks that I've been taking Rollo on, I haven't been getting like fully attacked by um, magpies or birds yet. Uh, you get the noisy miners, they fly past and go clack, clack, clack. I think it's their beaks that they're doing something with. Or... But, um, no, I should maybe just carry Hawk around. I reckon if I stuck Hawk on a, on a hat, mind you, he's full of sand and weighs a ton. But uh, if I stuck Hawk on a hat, I don't think I'd be getting swooped by anything. Or, actually, I wouldn't mind taking Hawk. Even, like, Rollo, if Rollo sees this thing, he, like, head tails it the other way. It's really weird. John Sludge Burger. Zilmia. Yeah, Zilmia's way too far away for me to go and do some reviews at. Hawk School. KFC chips at the, for the seagulls. Why would you waste KFC chips on some seagulls? Don't. You just let a mozzie sit there for like three seconds, it's already stuck its fangs in here, and then it starts itching. It's so annoying. Miners have been swooping your dog. Yeah, yeah that's the best thing about uh, taking Rollo for a walk, is that the birds attack him and not you. <laughs> Uh, yes, I'll do some live um, fishing in the Brisbane River at some stage. I've already sussed out a few spots that I can go and do some fishing at. So I will definitely be doing that at some stage. 
Um, have a look today, mate. There's not even a cloud in the sky. It's like... Nothing going on. There's no beautiful sunset because there's no clouds. And it was a beautiful day today. It was really nice. Mid 20s, I think, and blue sky. Some bogans down there. Sounds like a uh, an RX7. Yeah, definitely. The skin reacts to the mosquito saliva. Yes, yes. Radioactive fish for dinner. Your brother used to catch sharks in the Brisbane River. Yeah, well, I mean, there's sharks everywhere, especially those bull sharks, mate. They'll be everywhere, don't they? There's, they live in freshwater lakes and everything. I think Hawk's alive. Hawk! If nothing else, um, if you've got an annoying pet that comes around, like an annoying dog or a cat or something, Mate, this fake bird, this bird here will scare, like, any animal. If Rollo came up here, I could show you. <laughs> Just him, like, head-tailing it off once he sees uh, this, this fake bird. It's amazing. The first time that Rollo saw this bird, he just took off. He's like... Ugh. And uh, he's been scared ever since. It's weird. I'd love this if like the wings could move or if it the head could swivel. That would be awesome. Um Bob. Bob Hawk. Hawk is scary. You think I'm scary? I'm not scary. You're scary. A hawk has spoken. Oh, Bobby. The Brisbane River is still brown. It depends, depends where you go. Uh, if you're heading, I think from the Gateway Bridge, it's, uh, it starts turning blue. But otherwise, it's because it's a tidal river, so it sort of fills up and goes out. Fills up, goes out. So it's just the mud gets just swirled constantly. It probably wouldn't have been so bad in the old days, but I think they used to dredge it for pebbles. I think it was full of pebbles. Um, and they just dredged the whole bottom of it. And now it's, uh, it's brown. It's very unattractive. Oh yeah, I'm missing the garden. Yep. Although I don't really think about it because um, now that there's people just living in my house, it's sort of, it's not that big a deal. There's some noisy miners here. Speaking of noisy miners, let's see, see if we can get them. Oh, we were watching these two magpies the other day, just going for it. They were like full on, on mating. Well, I think these two could be too. But these two magpies, they were really showing us uh, their mating skills. And there they go. Yeah, they were, they did this whole court. We were sitting up here um, one afternoon, Melissa and I, and... These two magpies were just going for it. And when I say going for it, I mean, they were doing this courting and um, this hanging upside down and jumping on each other. And before uh, she'd let him, you know, throw his leg over, but it was still, 
It was really interesting to watch. Uh, uh, wherever I lay my head, or wherever I put my hat that time. Uh, Brisbane's fine. I mean, I grew up here, so it's it's not really that big a deal. Yeah, what's that? Uh, it looks like uh, well, I can see Venus. Uh, that looks like a Virgin plane coming in. Wouldn't be too many Virgins working on that plane, that's for sure. Cricket. Oh yeah, I tell you what. Pretty close to the, pretty close to the Gabba here, so might have to be going down to as long as they don't bring in the vaccine passports, mate. I'll be down there. I'll be down the Gabba. I can catch the bus. I can catch a free bus to the Gabba from here, so that's good. River fires on Saturday. Oh, cool. I'll have to go up to uh, one of these vantage points up there and go and have a look. If we're here on Saturday. You're 10 minutes from the Gabba. Yeah, I'm about 10 minutes from the Gabba too. Well, you're up Ipswich Road or something, are you, Luke? Hmm. Ah. Well, we're nearly out of winter. The last, like, last night wasn't too bad. The night before was effing freezing. I woke up shivering. Oh, actually, only because I was lying on top of the blankets. Uh, but then I woke up and I was like, oh, it's freezing. And I jumped under the blankets and I was, like, so cold. And last night was cold. Uh, tonight should be coolish. And then it's going to start really ramping up to summer, hopefully, so... That's good. Your mate is the head greenkeeper at the Gabba. Oh, that was always my... Uh, as a as a gardener, I would love to have been a... Worked at the Gabba in the... Um, get a job at the Gabba doing the... Doing the groundskeeping. Then you just sit on the tractors during the five-day tests. If it rains, go and throw some tarps out. Oh, mate. They always had shitty patchy grass, though. He never did a good job, your mate, I tell you. He could have done heaps better. There's another one. Uh, what? At 5.21am was the equinox? Which is the equinox? Holy snapping. Duck doodles. It's a, it's a mighty fit couple going for a walk there. Oh, crikey! Yeah, I can. I didn't know they made hot pants in the G-string version. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> September equinox. What's that even mean? Oh, that means uh, the change of seasons. Oh, okay, I think. I think. I think that's the change of seasons. So it's uh, officially spring. Good. That's another winter done. I tell you what, that last winter was beautiful. That's, that was an awesome winter. It was warm. It was... It was very wet though, it was a really wet winter. Uh, not as wet as the winter before, but it was still wet. Like winters are getting wetter. Normally it, they were dry as anything, it didn't rain for like four months. And now it, it, it was raining like every week. It was good. Hmm. I liked it. Oh. All that extra carbon you see in the air, making the plants grow, making it rain more. Anyone that says carbon's bad, they don't know gardening. Right, Hawk? That's right. 
Anyway, it's starting to get cold outside here. It's bloody middle of winter. Oh no, it's it's spring now. That's right. Yeah, it's middle of spring. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. It's the start of spring, not middle. Right. Shut that up. I might shut this one too. Plantation blinds. I don't know why they call them plantation. I think that's called plantation. I think what I need to do is go downstairs and uh, make a bourbon and coke. But first I'll come in here and I'll get some lighting happening. My beautiful old lamp that I got from the op shop for three bucks. I love this lamp, it's my favorite lamp. If I can find how to turn it on. Oh, yeah. That sits in the corner with old puss there. And uh, I got this uh, doofus here. And all of that tree that's growing in the corner. They've got a PowerPoint and a TV thing up on the roof. Must be some must have been some really tall people that used to live here. I think I can hear some trouble coming. Uh, are there any good spots to fish where I live? <laughs> no. Uh, close at uh, the Gold Coast. Actually, if I went down to um, uh, where Yatler is, and then I turn like left uh, up there, Jacob's Well, I could go there. Actually, I should go there and have, have a do a fish and chip review from. I've been there twice, had the fish and chips there twice. Never got to do the review though because of stuff. Can you see Rollo? Well, if, if Rollo comes into view, you, I'm, I'm amazed he hasn't come up yet because it's past his dinner time, so. You know, he's normally up here um, having a whinge going, Where's my dinner? Also, I often call plantation blinds, plantation shutters for popular window treatments. They got their name from the grand houses built on South America's cotton plantations. Ooh, yeah. I'm amazed they're not called for something else. Then. Ah. ah. One of those monster TVs, well, that's the other room. I've, I had to bring my TV and stick it in the spare room. But for some reason, the Wi-Fi is not getting up here, so I can't get any, like, Netflix or anything. You know, only free to wear, which is never fun. Just about to tuck into one of those pizza doubles. Oh, nice. How many Ks from the ocean am I? I don't know, if I drive like towards the gateway, uh, maybe 20, 20 k's maybe. Scatter, I gave him a game of scatter today. You can imagine me living on a cotton plantation. Uh, they use too much water, cotton plantations. If you're gonna be growing anything, you might as well be well, I don't know. Turmeric? Does, isn't turmeric pretty expensive? And I'd be growing something a bit, a bit better. 57 kilos? Bloody hell. Actually, I saw a photo of you uh, the other day, Mr. Beard, and you, yeah, you're very skinny. Your little legs are like my fingers. Mind you, 
He might weigh 57 kilos, but seven kilos of that is this slug, is this thing that he needs three hands to hold. Yeah, we got a Wi-Fi extender. Um, I'd be a good farmer. Well, the thing I'd be farming would, uh, well, I'd probably be end up injecting most of it and uh, not getting too much work done. <laughs> saffron, yeah, I could do a saffron farm. I, I think it's too hot up here. I think saffron likes colder climates like uh, Tasmania. 24 nuggets for 10 bucks. No, mate. I don't know. Chicken nuggets are way overrated. I, I don't know why anyone likes them. Yeah, the, they can't ma they can't make anything mandatory. It's t it's totally against the law. It's totally against our constitution. So for for old Dan to try and make something mandatory is absolutely illegal. And I certainly hope uh, that those tradies uh, take him to court. You're making fun of me of having pigeon legs. Oh, well. Uh, one of my legs is pigeon-like and it's not the two on the outside, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh. You used to weigh 55 kilos, then you started doing food reviews, mate. I'm, I was at 99 kilos, I'm now at 98.2. Um, and I'm trying to get down to about 92. Uh, <laughs> Chock full of opium. You're a sucker for chicken nuggets. Well, maybe I need to just go and try some more chicken nuggets. I should go and get that $10 deal. And I've just never been a chicken nugget person. I, I've tried them and they're always pretty crappy. And KFC ones, I, I didn't think that were that good. And McDonald's ones sort of aren't that good. Maybe I need to uh, try again. Uh, let's have a look. Saw the old BOM. I wouldn't mind not, what knowing what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. Wow, it's, it's Melbourne and Sydney. It's 19.7 degrees. Uh, Sydney tomorrow is 27 and Melbourne is 18. <laughs> Melbourne. Who would want to live there? Uh, Brisbane tomorrow, 28 degrees. Sweet. 12 to 28. Okay, that's good. Perth, 8 to 23. Adelaide, 9 to 16. Bloody hell. Hobart, 7 to 13. Canberra, 5 to 20. Even Canberra's warmer than Adelaide. And Darwin, 22 to 33. Mm -mm -mm. Sounds good. It'll be, 30, it'll be 22 to 33 every day here for the next four months very soon. But that's summer. Summertime. You're 5'5 five, five and 60 kilos. I'm 6'1 and 98. You can see right here. There's uh, lots of cushion for the pushing. Ooh, yeah! And that's why I'm on the low carb beers. I just need to. I mean, it's, it's not too bad. It's, it's not too much fat there. Sort of. That's not fat, anyway. It's, uh, it's just loose skin, enough for like 16 people. Right. You got smoked Atlantic salmon every week. You know what I saw today? I saw uh, 
uh, coral, no, ocean trout. Well, it was a trout, rainbow trout. I saw it at Woolies today. They looked really fresh and it was 20 bucks a kilo. And I was like, oh, gee, no, $15 a kilo, I think. And I saw these fish and I was like, oh, gee, that must be a couple of kilos. Then I was walking in the uh, to the fruit section. I saw these smoked whole trout without the head or the guts or anything for $10. And it was like this big whole trout and it was only 350 grams. I was like, mate. And I thought, oh, I need to go and get one of those ones. Uh, pull it apart and see what it's like because that'd be pretty nice I reckon now see what the smoked trout uh, from Woolies is like I'll probably get in trouble though for saying it was sponsored god is Brisbane better than the Gold Coast uh, I'd say no. Um, depends. If you want to be employed, then Brisbane is way better. Uh, if you like the beach, then the Gold Coast is better. Uh, if you if you like wind, then the Gold Coast is better. Uh, if you like it really hot and humid. Uh, Brisbane's better. Although the Gold Coast is more humid, but a little bit cooler. Hmm. Uh, I would much rather be living on the Gold Coast, though. Uh, no, my Fender Acoustic's right here, mate. Yeah. You see how badly out of tune it is. These new strings. I think I might go and get some new strings for it and, and pretty it up. And see what the new strings, see if it makes it sound any better. But I mean, I've got this one here as well. I don't think it needs tuning. I'm sitting here on the lawn, thinking of you, waiting by the If you heard any difference then uh, but there's definitely a, a, I could hear it you know, one strings are much better mixed up everything yeah they're from uh, are they from Newcastle or Brisbane or the Goldie or something you cooked a salmon fettuccine with parmesan cream the other night oh yeah Oh, that sounds delicious. Oh, conga. Can I do the intro live? I've been doing a few uh, outros actually live recently. I'm like, yeah, I'll start doing those. I 
know what I did, but I tell you what, whatever it was, it's probably fucking awesome. Start of my videos, it's that one. No, how's it going? No. Copy right. No, only fans. Tired of the lies Matins are made in Melbourne. Well, I'm waiting for Matin to send me a free one, but I'll probably get in trouble Probably get in trouble for somebody sending me something to do a review on Oh dear Uh, your boys know it's Friday night, Grego night, cheers. Oh, thank you. Um, Luke Smith, you love the entertainment, mate. I'll tell you what, it's going to get more entertaining. What time is it? I haven't got much time left, but Luke, because of you, it's spirits time. Cheers. Quick, let's get down. I haven't got much time left. Then I've got to go and feed Rollo. Oh, he's going to be, he's going to be gagging for some food soon. Where is Rollo, by the way? I hope he hasn't escaped. <whistles> You'll be running in somewhere. It's going to come through that garage any second. I think he might. There he comes. Rollo, you're gagging for some food. Do you want to play scatter, Rollo? Hey, Rollo. Do you want to play scatter? Do you want to play scatter, Rollo? Hey, do you want to play scatter? Hey, Rollo. Wanna play scatter? Do you wanna play scatter? Come on, Rollo. Let's play scatter. Come on. Let's do it. You and me. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Over there. Go over there. That's the way. We'll get some scatter happening. Ready for to play scatter? Don't look excited. Scatter! Oh yes! Oh, oh yes! Oh boy, look at him go! It's like a, it's like a vacuum cleaner. Oh yes! Oh, watch that leaf! Don't eat the leaf! Oh yeah! Keep going! Oh mate, I tell you what. There's one, I can see a couple over there, Rollo. That's the way. It is your dinner time, so do you want some more, Rollo? Do you want some more scatter? Scatter! Oh, there he goes! Oh, he's playing scatter, he loves, he loves scatter. Oh, yes. Oh, he just, he's just like, look at him go on those. Little crunchy bites everywhere. Oh boy, boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh yeah, there's, a, there's more over there, mate. Oh, there's one, yep. 
course he's got that. Oh, he's seen one over there. Oh, he's found another one. Well done. Good on you, mate. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it for now. But later on, you'll be getting some more. Hey, Rollo, come here. Well, he's, he's found some more. You can see I've, been, I've got so much junk in here. I've been just trying to clean it up and tidy it up. It'll get done eventually, but... Oh, he's found it. I didn't know there's someone over there. No, no, none there. He's a sniffer dog, so he'll sniff whatever out, everything out that he can. Oh, you can see the one that's sitting on top of the ironing board here. Oh, come on, Rollo. I, I know you're loving playing scatter, so how about we just do a little bit more? I'll just have to give you a few less crunchies later on, that's all. I think that's all your crunchies today that you're gonna get. I'll give you some wet food later. Some nice casserole. I like getting him the casserole because it's nice and wet. None of that chunky carvy stuff. No, there's nothing over there, mate. There's a vacuum cleaner. Uh, we don't even need that vacuum cleaner, mate, because we got you. That's it. Well done, Rollo. Sit. Didn't you... You're not here. Sit. Good boy. Go around. Yeah. I think you've already been given your treats for that. Wet. <laughs> um, thanks to uh, Conker. Only fair to chuck Rollo a super chat too. Ah, thanks, Conker. Yeah, so I'm in the midst of, well, doing laundry, of course, and... Nothing there. Your, uh, your master will be here soon. Your dad will be here very soon for dinner, Rollo. Yes, he will. Look at him. He's just like... He's hungry. He, he wants to be fed. I should be feeding him soon. But unfortunately, Rollo, that's not happening. So, well, not yet at least. Your your other master needs uh, some sort of liquid refreshment in the form of bourbon. So we're just going to work that out first, and uh, and then we'll uh, get get some other things organised. Right. Okay. Yeah. Get one of these big glasses out here. Need an ice cube. Two bits of ice. Actually, those, those bits of ice are way too big. Let me get some of the smaller bits. Some mother's milk. Uh, 
And I think I've only got racist cola in the house. I got some no sugar. Because, you know, less carbs, more KFC. I love this glass, it can fit 10 ice cubes, a whole can of cola and um, as much spirits as you can fit in there and it's still not even full. Cheers. God, I wish sugar wasn't bad for you. So I tell you what, I'd love to be eating way more of it. Because there's nothing worse than colas with no sugar. But in saying that, uh, no sugar tonic water is awesome. Uh, this is what I've got uh, for Rollo, he's got his eyes on this. He knows that I've got his dog food here, but now I've got some casserole. The old casserole. So he gets, I think this tin, this tin usually lasts him four feeds. And like I give him some of that with some crunchies. And, and uh, that's dinner and then breakfast. But he seems to be surviving on that pretty well. Up these stairs again. There's my, uh, you probably remember that plant there from my house. And this one. That's from my place too. You might remember this plant. You probably remember these ones. Well, you know Smitty and Old Salty here, so, yes. Your spirit measure is three fingers. Holy, was that, is that with or without ice? I only had like that much. Cause, uh, well, I've got to stay in control. And I can't lose control because, you know, $46 today in the old uh, dance. Wow. What VBs? It'd be, that'd, it'd be an extra seven or eight dollars for a carton up here. Amazing. Uh, everything's good in moderation. Everything's good in um, excess as well, most of the time. Well, except some of the, oh, you know what I bought today? It was on sale. Uh, they had a Cadbury's caramel milk, which I just, I just need to eat it. Whenever it's on special at two dollars fifty, I never buy it at three bucks or three fifty. I only ever buy it when it's two fifty. But they had the one with honeycomb in it, so I thought, oh, I'll buy that one, give it a go, see what it's like. So I bought a, a caramel milk with honeycomb, a caramel milk plain because, just because, and they also had uh, Maltesers half price. You know, I got enough chocolate to last me until tomorrow. <laughs> I figured it's my birthday, so I should be able to shout myself some chocolates every now and then, right? Yeah, that's my, that's, that's my excuse. You're a sweet tooth? Yeah, me too.
See you, Rabbi. Oh. Well, if uh, Victoria became its own country, we'd have to build a massive wall around it. That's the only problem. It would cost tr a trillion dollars, probably. That's all right. We'll make the Victorians pay for it. Yes. I'm going to build the biggest, most beautiful wall you've ever seen, and Mexico is going to pay. Happy 60th. Close. I'm getting uh, I'm still closer to 50 than 60. Anyway, I'm not I'm not too worried about uh, getting older. In fact, the older you get, the better life gets. It's just you can't really enjoy it as well because your back hurts. You know, your ankles are sore. Um, something else is playing up. I'll tell you what, for an old bloke, the old fella is still like every morning, mate. It's like, I can't roll over any morning. I, I can never roll on my stomach. There's always something stopping me. There's always a chock. You're gardening for your rich guy tomorrow. Maybe able to send me some VBs. Are they low carb? It's only low carb. <laughs> a wall, you're paying enough, a wall to keep the bad Victorian drivers out. Well, I tell you what, coming up from the Gold Coast to Brisbane, and Brisbane drivers, I think, are... Where was I driving? And I just copped heaps. Of Sunshine Coast drivers are terrible. I think Brisbane drivers are pretty bad. Gold Coast drivers are pretty nice, I thought. Um, Brisbane drivers uh, aren't very good. Yeah, it's my 53rd. I'll be 53 years old uh, next Friday. So, well done to me. You're turning 48 next July. Ah, nice. Well, I tried a boiler maker. I've had a few boilers in my time. <laughs> but uh, is a boiler maker an old boiler's mother? If that's the case, then yes, I've had a few. Ah, cheers! I've never caught a squid. When am I going to check my P.O. box next? Well, I've actually got something in my P.O. box that I have to go and check. Uh, if you're going to send me anything to that P.O. box, please do it uh, next week. Uh, generally, they allow two, they hold your mail for two weeks, so I've got to go within the next two weeks. So if you're going to send me something, send it now. And I'll probably not go next week, but I might go the week after, just in case. $180 for $5, full price. Yeah, well, that's normal. My 21st, actually, I had my, um, I was, we were going through my old photo album the other day. It was very touching, very touching. You're close to 50, a bit daunting. Oh, mate. But 50 is just like 40, except uh, your hip hurts, pretty much. I think from 40, when I turned 40, things started hurting, like muscles started pulling easier, and they took longer to heal. Uh, from 50, uh, well, I've got my sore back problem from... If I didn't have... If I hadn't abolished my disc in my back in my 40s, uh, I'd be top shelf, I reckon, except for those uh, things growing on my kidney and liver. But besides that, 
Nah, mate. You got to die or something. Uh, will it be COVID? I doubt it. I mean, it's a, probably a one in three thousand chance of dying from that for me, or one in five thousand. I figured it's a one in five thousand chance of me dying from it, a one in three thousand chance of being hospitalised. Yeah, uh, so. Otherwise, it's just going to be a sniffle and a blow in a tissue and uh, she'll be wrong. Uh, you learn to drive in Canberra. So you're good with roundabouts. Well, there's plenty of roundabouts everywhere. You'll be sending chocolate. Well, let's hope that chocolate, by chocolate, you mean uh, hashish. <laughs> Petrol's rocked up. I don't know, mate. I, I, there's a shell servo near me that... Um, it's always 20 cents cheaper than everyone else. So I always get the premium fuel. Just so I feel less guilty. Ooh, bit of reconnection happening there. Uh, I only put petrol in my car every three weeks to a month anyway, so it really, it doesn't really bother me, the price of petrol. How was the move? Yeah, the move was good. Now you turned 44 in May. <whistles> Tell you what, you are one smoking hot 44-year-old, I tell you. Um, my Goldie unit is occupied. You haven't had the flu this season. I had the, I had the last time I had sort of a flu was right at the start of, uh, COVID, uh, back in probably March last year, I just had this fluey feeling and I went to the doctor and I said, oh, I've got something. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's COVID. And he said, do you want to go and get a, a do you want to go and get it checked out? I said, no, not really. He goes, then just go home and rest. I said, okay. But he wasn't, he wasn't concerned. Conker, thanks very much. Do a shot of whiskey into half a glass of beer. Drop a shot of whiskey into half. How about I drop a shot of whiskey into a full glass of beer? I'll do that another time, Conker. You have to remind me. Canberra's got the most roundabouts of any city in Australia. Ah, cool. I have relocated. Yes, I have. No, I'm not a petrol head. I have a diesel car that I drive like a grandmother uh, who is, um, who used to be a race car driver. <coughs> the best thing about diesels is they're sort of gutless, so there's no point trying to get up them. Uh, but thanks, Conker. Oh, death charges, yeah. Oh, no, I know all about those things. Anyway, I've got to go, guys. It's time for me to head off. I've got uh, family coming over soon, and I need to, like, prepare. And uh, I need to go to the toilet and urinate. I also need to feed the dog. And uh, I've got some other things I need to do. But um, I'll try and come on, uh, I'd say next, could be next Monday, I think, next time I can get on. Uh, otherwise, it'll be uh, Wednesday or Thursday next week. Uh, life's a little bit different now because, you know, I am uh, living with someone else and 
Um, as a couple, I have to be a uh, responsible partner. So, I'm sorry if that offends people. But, um, it would have been nice if I'd got up to at least 62 likes today. Uh, it looks like I only got to 60, but hey, that's all right. I can deal with it. Gosh, by the balls. <laughs> Bring 2020 back. Yeah, I know. I know. No, I've. I've, I've had a few uh, reality checks in the last uh, few few weeks about my health and I really do need to take a lot more uh, care of it. So cheers to that. Thanks Outlaw. Thanks Stylesy. Thanks Conker. Give that lighter a workout. I might do it right now. Oh yeah. Ah. Tequila's gone out of business. Actually, did you know that when I was doing all those shots, uh, Australia was the third biggest drinker of tequila in the world. Fun fact. It's probably slipped back to about fifth position now. Actually, I got some tequila downstairs, so hey, never, you never know. And I've got a shot glass there too. Healthy food reviews? <laughs> no. Actually, I've got one coming up, barn meads. I'll tell you what, the barn meat, if you ever want something that uh, is sort of naughty, that's very healthy. Go to a Vietnamese place and get a barn mi. They, I'm gonna start trying to find the best barn mi because I love a barn mi. They are so tasty. But anyway, uh, cheers everyone. Thanks for coming along today. Thanks for all your super chats and hanging out with me. I think it's time for you all to go and uh, hug your missus and uh, and at least start thinking about eating something uh, later on. That's that card, by the way, that was sent to me by uh, who was it again? Um. He's got, hasn't got his name. <laughs> I'm going to keep using this till the battery goes flat. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Adios. Hasta luego.